channel hit the like and subscribe button and thank you for watching so today we're going to be discussing the update to the playstation 5 which you can sign up and get the beta software so right here what i'm going to show you is the invite process and once you got the invite process what you need to do to get the software applied and installed on your playstation 5 so the first thing that you will need to do is go into your playstation uh, store and redeem the code once you receive the code it'll be in the email that you got accepted into the public beta program and the instructions are also present within that code itself or within the email and you just go to the website you can type it in there and it'll apply to your playstation 5 or you can do it on the playstation itself as you can see i'm doing it on the playstation 5 uh, getting that code typed in click redeem it tells you right there ps5 system software beta testing and that will go ahead and process and apply itself it will take a few moments to do that so let's go ahead and sit and then we'll show you exactly what happens once you get to that point now you will go to the system software update and settings and right here nothing is happening yet it's still recognizing that it has the old version of the software installed and I will go back to the store just to make sure that it did take and that it is recognizing it as an applied um, field so you'll go ahead and see in a moment I'm going to try to get to that destination where we can see the purchases and make sure that it's there so it's not under subscriptions it will be under transaction history and once you click on transaction history type in the date which is going to be present right there on the top showing that the software is available now once you click on continue you'll go ahead and go further and what you can do after this it might take about two to three minutes go back into the system settings go to system software update and give it a moment as it's checking and as you can see it shows it right there update system software beta and once you click update it will start the process and here is everything that it does so the main features updating the system software beta program version you can now insert the m2 ssd to your playstation 5 extension slot and use that as your storage it does have to be a pcie 4.0 m.2 ssd with a capacity of 250 gigabytes up to four terabytes maximum and it just gives you the instruction exactly power off the device make sure that the ac power cord is unplugged and to connect it if you do install the software then you will have to revert back and uh, if you ever revert back to the original software you do have to take it out because it won't work it does have some 3d audio settings to optimize the room for the dual sense wireless controller as well as the using the speakers in the library we've updated the following the install tab is now the first tab that you'll see making it easier to find games that aren't on the home screen as well as offering quicker access to some of those things uh, in the game base we've updated the following as you can read through the enhancements of the update trophies has been updated as well the control center they've updated the following as you can see there's a little bit more there and then they've enabled the screen reader other updates and features you can see right there so it's a list of new features in the update it's a big one and we'll see exactly when it goes public but right now in the beta if you have been approved to or involved in the beta testing you will have access to all of these things i think one of the biggest things that people are looking forward to is having the access to the extended storage being able to buy that uh, ssd and plug it in directly and load your ps5 games to it and it load off of that instead of loading it onto the drive itself because i know before there were some issues so and as you can see it's an extensive list it's there's a lot of new features and if you stop using the beta program version it just tells you restoring it and how it will impact the uh, disk you go ahead and click agree confirm it will process the update the update itself does not take that long it's a fairly quick process less than a gigabyte 
in download. So I will speed up through some of this process because I don't think anybody wants to wait in the time it takes to download this because if you have been invited you can download it yourself and this is just the process for you guys to exactly see what happens through the whole installation process restart installing it's updating really nothing too big or important after this we're going to look at some of the features and it's rebuilding the database and update now so it does also update the wireless controller so there was a new update to it after installing the new version and let's go ahead and log into the account you get prompted that you're in the beta software and here you see resume activity so jump to your next mission this is the activity cards that are updated here's the controls it just shows you that the controls are updated enhancing your gameplay and all your friends and parties are here as well so that's primarily the big piece and we will go ahead and look at the settings just to see if there's any big changes there but so far the biggest ones might be internal changes to the system and you being able to use the ssd as well as 3d audio and some other enhancements there are benefits to how they are stacking the new tray but to every everybody has their own preference and if you go to system settings and you can make sure that we are in the beta still you can stop using the beta version and it'll just revert to the old software we made sure that that's up to date so you can see is there any system feature updates and this came back with no that is all up to date so nothing to worry about there or nothing to change at least for now and we'll keep an update to new features coming in the beta process and this does take a moment to kind of go through its search and come back but there you go tells you all the system features are up to date and after that let's check hdmi you have the enable one touch play and i can't recall if that was there before but you guys can just see some of the stuff that's here right now and those are all in the system category and if we go to storage here you have options where you can see again if you install your SSD it might give you a different option there your microphone settings audio and enable 3d audio for TV speakers you can do that now setting up the volume screen video all of that right there and again we'll have to test more as we play with this software it just recently installed so we need a little bit more in-depth testing hope you guys enjoyed this video hit the like and subscribe button and thank you for watching and stay tuned for more